Welcome to this episode of Biz Takeouts, Biz Community Soundbite Size News to Go, made possible by the Frederick Naumann Foundation in partnership with GreenCape, a non-profit organization that drives the widespread adoption of economically viable green economy solutions from South Africa. I'm your host, Angie White, and I'm so pleased to introduce today's guest. Yasin Sali is the bioenergy analyst and DBCO project lead at GreenCape, who will be telling us about the biogas sector and the DBCO project. Welcome, Yasin. Thank you for having me, Andrew. Great. So, Yasin, let's start with the first question. What's happening in the biogas sector in our country? Yeah, the biogas sector is a very interesting sector because um, it can essentially be divided into two aspects. Um, the first one is those sort of um, activities within the industrial and commercial space. That is essentially your sort of medium to large biogas plants that are established on in agricultural spaces or within sort of um, value add municipal waste spaces or organic waste spaces. And the second aspect is more the smaller size um, communal digesters that are installed within households or communal blocks or at schools or community centers where the biogas is used for heating and cooking, so to speak. Um, and, and to speak on a broader aspect of it as well, um, both of these markets are very much still nascent. Um, but there's a lot of interest in it, uh, particularly around the pressure for dealing with organic waste, which has been banned uh, in, from landfills in the future, um, as well as the need for energy security, whether it be electricity or heating applications, so to speak. Okay, great. Thank you. And then tell us, Yasin, what is the DWICO project and what is Green Cap's role in the project? The Debico project is the Digital Global Biogas Cooperation Project. Uh, it is a Horizon 2020 funded project uh, through the European Union. Um, the project aims to facilitate the transfer of skills and expertise and technology from developed markets within Europe to developing markets across the globe. Um, the five developing markets that have been identified for the project uh, are Indonesia, Argentina, Ghana, Ethiopia, and South Africa, and the means in which they sort of aim to transfer and facilitate the, 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 the transfer of these technologies and expertise are through digital and non-digital support uh, mechanisms, so to speak. The digital support mechanisms include the development of an online platform, which sort of encourages matchmaking between European stakeholders and the developing market stakeholders, and the non-digital support mechanisms is the highlighting and facilitating demo case projects within each of the five developing markets, uh, as well as follow-up cases where we provide a, a slightly less support to them in terms of understanding and developing those biogas projects. That sounds awesome. It sounds like a much needed project for sure. <laughs> Thanks. Then tell me, Yasin, do you have an example of a biogas project that you can share with us? Um, in terms of existing projects within South Africa, a good example of the larger project would be the Bronquist Freight pro Project in uh, Buy to Watch Project in Swane. Um, that project basically takes in, um, it's built on a feedlot where it was using initially cow manure to convert cow manure to biogas. Um, as that project has progressed, it started taking in a number of different organic or food waste streams um, into that plant. And that plant basically generates electricity and supplies electricity to BMW up there. Um, and it's a good sort of initiative for BMW to sort of use green and sustainable power that is generated from the biogas produced from the organic waste streams within the area. Uh, an example of a smaller plant would be uh, a plant um, that has been built on a dairy within Ullenkral in Darling in the Western Cape. And there that that basically uses again the, the waste streams from the cows and manure and the, the process waste. Um, it's converted to biogas, which is converting to electricity, and that electricity is used on site for that farm to reduce his um, basically his energy consumption from the grid. Um, so these are the sort of type of projects that are attractive within the industrial and commercial um, sector. Um, within the micro digestion space, um, there are some communal biogas projects that have been installed. 
Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of information on those communal projects because they often fly under the radar and don't actually get the, the recognition that they deserve in terms of uh, the potential benefits of those projects. Great. Thanks so much, Yasin. That It sounds so interesting and definitely we are in need of more of these projects, that's for sure. <laughs> in regards to the demo cases that Debiko is looking to sort of facilitate and support, um, we have selected the five projects for the various five developing markets. Um, however, the announcement hasn't made it in time for this interview. Um, but what I can say is that it will most likely be made by the end of Close of Business today or by Monday. Um, and those, those projects are very exciting because each of those projects are very unique and different in their own way. And it shows and demonstrates the, the level of cooperation that the project is promoting um, amongst the various countries, as well as the opportunity that the biogas sector can produce for diversity in terms of the energy mix, as well as a waste management tool, as well as um, reducing carbon emissions, so to speak. Okay, thanks. Um, sorry we didn't get that announcement in time, but I'm sure we will we will get updated on that and we can share it with our, our viewers and our readers. So we'll look forward to that. Right, Justin, short and sweet for today. That's a wrap on today's show. But thanks to the Frederick Norman Foundation in partnership with Green Cape for making it possible. Let's take us, take it where you like it, when you like it, how you like it. Bye for now. <laughs>